Hello and welcome to episode two of series two, where we'll be looking at the digital tests you can perform with the ATM in the Boardmaster. So we'll be looking at the instrument, advanced IC tester, and Manib will show us some of the tests that that can perform on an IC. Could you give us a demonstration, Manib? Sure, of course. So as I explained before, with the Boardmaster, you, it comes with the ATM, the advanced test module, and it can be used to test digital ICs and digital based uh, PCBs as well. Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, various different tests within TestFlow. Uh, from the previous series, you may have noticed we also use TestFlow. So TestFlow basically uh, is an instrument that comes with the software that allows you to record all your tests, save all the data, save your results as well, and then come back to our later point. If you'd like more information about TestFlow and how it specifically works, you could click on this video link here and have a look at that video as well. So moving on back into the test itself. Uh, again, we're going to use TestFlow. We will continue the test flow we have here and we're going to be using the advanced IC tester. So the advanced IC tester is one of the instruments that comes along with the Boardmaster and specifically used by the ATM, the advanced test module. So what I'm going to do here is um, simply start my test. Okay, so what test is it going through right now? Okay, so there are various different tests happening here. And what we can see here is um, a true table test, connection test, voltage, thermal and VI. So five tests in total, three which are power on, two which are power off. So the ones that are power on, just to repeat, we have true table, voltage and connection. These are power on tests. We have thermal and VI, which are power off tests. Okay, do they do those in any particular order? Power on and power off? Yes, yeah, so power on first and then power off. So power on starting with connection, true table, voltage, and then power off, thermal VI. Okay, brilliant. So right now on the screen, uh, can you explain a bit to us? Of course, so what we've done here is like I explained five different tests starting um, with the connection test. So the connection test looks at how our device is wired on the PCB as it is. It looks for things like shorts, open circuits, any links, uh, floating points, ground, VCC. As you can see here, the system has, has identified the ground, the VCC, and on pin 10 is telling us we have a floating point here. So that's the connection test. We also have the voltage test. So the voltage test, which looks at the voltage on the pins of the IC in the, at this particular moment in time. So you can see all the voltages along the side of all the pins. Okay, brilliant. And truth table test as well. So the truth table test is done against the system A library. So with the system A software, you have a library full of different ICs from different families. We can have a quick look here. So if I select the family, list you can see a list of all the different families and obviously if i click on one of these you'll see all the devices within this particular family okay brilliant so the test is done against the library the true table test basically looking at the functionality making sure that the ic is working as it should be okay great uh, could you show me the uh, logic trace of course the logic trace okay there we are so this is the logic trace and this basically shows you the highs the uh, the highs and the lows the zeros and the ones of the truth table test that we have done just to making sure that the device is operating as it should be. Okay, great. So right now we've got a pass because I, this is a f functioning uh, IC. Well, what if there was a, a problem with the logic trace? Okay, sure. So what we can do here is um, start the test once more. And then I could cause a fault. Oh, okay. Okay, so what we have done here is as identified by the system, we have linked pin ones and pin two. We have L1 on either side, meaning these two uh, these two pins are now linked. Okay. And as we can see here in the bottom corner, our connection test has now failed. Uh, the instrument itself has given us a cross. And so is our test flow instrument telling us that this test has now failed because the connection test is not as it should be. Okay, so like I explained in season one where the VI is a comparison test, yeah. uh, in this episode, the, uh, th this is done against the, the library and the software. So the true table test is only done against the library, whereas all the other tests, the four other tests are comparison tests. Okay. This is why we see um, the green ticks here for voltage and true table. This is because the device is functioning as it should, but our system is telling us that the connection, there's something wrong with the connections of the device. So as we have here, the pins are linked together, which they shouldn't be. Okay, brilliant. So. Okay, I, th I think that's all we've got time for in this episode. 
Uh, if you stay in tune for next episode, we'll be looking at the other instruments included in the ATM module in the Boardmaster, so keep an eye out for them. <laughs>